Hello, today we're going to look at the periodic table. We're going to have a quick overview of the main different parts of the periodic table and how it's arranged. The first thing here is that we can draw a stairway as shown on the screen there. Starts with boron and aluminium. Everything on the right of that stairway is a non-metal. We looked at this in a previous video. Everything on the left of that is a metal. So that's one way the periodic table is arranged, metals and non-metals. We also have these little numbers at the top here, and these are the groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and group zero at the end there. These are the groups. Elements are put into groups because they have similar properties. So elements with similar properties are placed in specific groups. For example, if we look at group 1, here, these are all reactive metals. These are called the alkali metals. But they're all reactive metals. They all react with water quite vigorously, quite strongly. Over here on the other side, on the other side of the periodic table, we have group zero. And these are all very unreactive gases. They're called the noble gases, and they're in group zero because they are very unreactive gases. That's the similar property they all have. Very unreactive gases. So those are the groups. Now, in the center here, between group two and three, we have a big block of elements and these are the transition metals the transition metals these are actually not found in groups because their properties can vary slightly however there are some familiar elements in here we've got copper you may have heard of zinc iron I'm sure you've heard of there's nickel and also silver and gold, which I'm sure you've heard of. But these are found in the transition metal section of the periodic table. The next thing we can look at are the rows in the periodic table. So here are the first few rows. And these rows here, I've done the first four there, these are called periods periods. Period 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the rows are called periods. Now there's one little element here, hydrogen. That's not found in any particular group, but it is in period 1. It's not in a particular group because its properties can uh, change slightly. It doesn't really fit any, into any one group, but it is found in period 1 of the periodic table. We also have uh, some information here in the key, and that relates to all of the elements in the periodic table. So if we look at the key here, this gives us information about the structure of atoms. We don't really need to learn about this for key stage 3, we do that more in GCSE, and you can check the GCSE videos for that. But this basically gives us some information about the structure of atoms, and we can use that information for that. If you want your own copy of the periodic table that looks a bit like this, you can head over to the link in the description below to the website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and there's a link to a PDF of a periodic table that looks like this that you can keep and uh, refer to when you need to. So that's it for the video today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.